we continue to sort of think that technologies will demand less of teachers when in fact they're demanding a lot more of teachers. In many places, there's almost no teacher training to speak of. I mean, people are literally thrown in front of class in front of classrooms and expected to, you know, do great things. I think if anything, we need to be sort of increasing the training that's going on with teachers, helping them understand how to use and how to implement these technologies and use them for pedagogical purposes. We're also seeing a lot of public money being poured into the training of AI systems and education of AI systems. Governments and publics at large are going to have to make decisions about sort of building the capacity of machines and systems or building the capacities and skills of, of human beings. I very much stand on the side of, you know, directing education and training towards people. I mentioned in the keynote address, well, it's very exciting to have computers and machines that appear to be able to read and write and to converse. I'm much more excited about people that can read and write and converse and articulate their ideas clearly. Uh, that's something that we're going to need to look at going forward is how do we balance these investments um, with the sort of education and training of AI systems and the education and training of uh, human beings. Education is where we show people norms and you know how the world works, how economies work, uh, and I think that education can help us to establish new trajectories for this digital transformation that we're living through.